Hi guys, today our discussion is SA560 subsequent event. Before moving more details into the standards, we must understand certain things. Financial statements is prepared at the end of the financial year, which is 31st March. We have to close our books of account and we are obliged to make certain entries on provisional basis and accounting estimate basis. This entry and provision for next 12 months period. And the audit may be conducted 3-4 months lags. Audit report also issued on the lags. During this period of time, whatever we have accounted on the provisional basis may be materialized and realized. We will get the actual figure. Should be shown this provisional entry or we have to account the actual realistic figure thereby we can show the actual profit and loss account this is the main things in this standard discussions so the we have to understand what is the subsequent period subsequent period means subsequent to the date of preparation of financial statement and till the date of audit report certain such events may happen we are opting to show the realistic figure rather than the provisional and estimates this is our main things in our consideration this event or events is the subject matter of discussions now we are moving into the standards what is the auditor's duty with respect to the subsequent event subsequent to the date of financial statement till the date of audit report this period what is the auditor's duty here we are going to discuss how auditor can understand those events has been happened for an example i made a provision for compensation 30 lakh rupees actual compensation has comes during this period is 50 lakh rupees there is a difference of 20 lakh rupees this has to be adjusted on actual basis in profit and loss account so that the profit figure will be reflected whereas certain items which won't hit the financial statement for an example government ban one of our product due to the quality control aspects during this period of time here nothing required to adjust in the books of account but various users are depending on financial statements they should have to understand this matter so we are obliged to disclose these matters to the financial uh, various users so two things is connected with subsequent event one is the adjustment items which i mentioned about the legal proceedings compensation second is the disclosure matter so moves on auditor's duty number one how can auditor will understand the subsequent events first step go to the organization and cure with the management management g how you identify subsequent events what are the procedure i'm asking this question to the management management will reply dear auditor g we have a senior accountant person who are interested with these tasks whatever provisional entries we have made whatever entry account on estimation basis any other events happens after the date of balance sheet till this date we have deployed a person and he has collected an evidence. See, this is our debtor collection. I made a provision for doubtful debt is 30,000. Actual bad debt is 50,000 rupees. This is the procedure we have. We are exclusively deployed for senior accountant to identify those things. So I get a close 
This is the way the management is handling subsequent events. Still, I am not happy. I am reading through the minutes. Whatever meeting has been convened, board meetings within three months, we know the lag, uh, time periods. Reading, going through the minutes of the meetings, I will get another clues. Whatever incidents happens may be discussed in the management meetings. Then go through the interim financial statements, which is prepared after the date of financial statement. Quarterly, quarterly basis we are preparing. Go through that, we will get a clue. Cash flow statements, everything we will get a clues. This is the way auditor will identify that. After identification of subsequent event, he has to inquire, inquire with the management. See this period, I have not signed my auditor's report. How management is going to handle those things? Do the management will revise and amend their financial statement? Will they take these entries, these things into their financial statement? Thereby they reflect the actual PNL account. If management is willing, amend the financial statements, issue modified report. There is no problem. So why? Because I have not issued auditor's report now. Whereas my auditor report is published, issued. Financial statements I handed over to the management. Luckily, they have not issued and given this to the third party. Still the same question I am asking. Whether you are willing to amend the financial statement. If yes, the same procedure we will carry out. If not, then auditor has to modify his opinion. Why? Because if it is material, then it has to be convened to the auditor's report. See, the 30 lakhs provisions I made, 50 lakhs actual happens, 20 lakh are difference, which is material to the various users. No. So these things I has to be communicated in my modified audit report. Third steps. Everything is happens. Audit report is issued to the third party. Everything is gone from my hand. Then what is my action? Still the same question. Will the management is ready to amend the financial statement? If yes, then I have to give the modified audit report. I have to communicate clearly to the stakeholders. Don't rely on my earlier report. The latest report I will publish to you soon and give the modified new auditor report which will consisting of those changes which happened this period. Then everything happened after the date of audit report. No, nothing we have to take into consideration for that period. It will be automatically reflected in the next subsequent period audit. So this is my smallest discussions about subsequent events. Thank you for watching the video and have a wonderful day ahead.